1994 December, my virgin garnet silk then. And then what happened now is that the one when we do 1995, me do a tribute to my virgin. Some fest did a tribute to my virgin too. So a whole lot of people kind of get it mixed up and figure say, oh, it's garnet silk birthday. It is not seen. So the rumors where people always are listening to, don't listen to that. My love is a stacking up. Rebel Salute is one of the biggest reggae shows in Jamaica which celebrated 30 years in existence recently. This is a very important show to Jamaica's economy and also to the reggae culture. But Rebel Salute is never without some kind of baggage or controversy which includes Tony Rebel CEO, Garnet Silk, one of his friends and also Yasses Afari who claimed the idea of Rebel Salute was always his one. Yo, yo, one of the East Side Dance Hall, Lincoln Terrage Records. One of the Talk I Town in Dance Hall, Lincoln Terrage Records. Your entourage, the meat you know it from man, your rockedness. Bless up, bless up, and welcome back to Entourage Records. You are new via here? Please consider subscribing. Turn on your post notification bell so whenever I make a new upload, you can be the first to be notified. Rebel Salute first rolled out its carpet at Fayette Entertainment Center in Mandeville, Manchester on Friday, January 14, 1994 and subsequently relocated to Brooks Park in the same parish and then Port Kaiser in St. Elizabeth. In 2013, the show moved to Grizzly Plantation Cove in Priory St. Anne. The show's celebration is supposedly affiliated with Tony Rebel's birthday but there were others saying it was supposed to be Garnet Six's birthday and Yasa Afari, who was Tony Rebel's friend at the time, said in an interview that the show was actually his idea. Quickly, rubbish that claimed there, said that Yasa Afari start the show and him start him own show. But enough people have said Tony Rebel renamed Rebel Salute after Garnet Silk birthday bash. In fact, we also hear some people say Tony Rebel took away Garnet Silk's show and don't even give his family a part of the proceeds. And there's also another story that the show was actually started by both of them and Tony Rebel took over the show after Garnet Silk passed away. But what was really the connection between these three individuals why people even make all these speculations? Whose show is it or who actually started the show? Well, these three individuals used to be close friends and were known as the Three Musketeers. Garnet Silk and Yasa Safari knew each other from a younger age and Silk was introduced to Rastafarian movement by Yasa Safari who hails from nearby parish St. Elizabeth. Yasa Safari, a dub poet, and back then, Silk was a fledging entertainer from Manchester known as Little Bimbo. Yasa Safari teach Garnet and Tony Rebel about the teachings of Rastafari. He's the one who came up with the name Christian Soldiers, where Yasus was the dub poet, Rebel the DJ, and Garnet the singer. Garnet Silk was extremely close to Afari and Rebel. The band sparked a roots revival in dancehall music. In the early 1990s, wrestling the dominance from the slackness and gun lyrics of artists like Sheba Rankin and Ninja Man. So Yasa Safari, in an interview with Beat Street, he said this, I am the one who conceptualized and executed the first two Rebel Salute shows and things evolved from there. I had always envisioned starting a revolution to own something with the Christian Soldiers movement and others we had around us at the time, like Everton Blender and Garnet Silk. And he went on to say, the energy that was felt at the Garnet Silk birthday bash was replicated at the first Rebel Salute. The energy was just pure and crystal. It was huge. We had Butch Bantan, Sugar Minot, Christian Soldiers, Garnet Silk, myself, Everton Blender, Judy Mawat, Marcia Griffiths, among others. It was something special. People were mesmerized. So with Yasso Safari making all those claims, Tony Rebel felt the need like he or he was maybe forced to clear the air since many people were asking questions 
And in a 2017 interview, he said the station of the first rebel salute was at Fairs Entertainment in Mandeville and not in Brooks Park, as Yasuf Safari had said. More time, enough places, no go, enough people um, ask some questions and say some things. Like even a while ago on the Virgin Come, but say, yeah, rebel salute, go on until birthday. All right, so hear this now. This is important. Listen, rebel salute is a celebration of Tony Rebel's birthday. The first Rebel Salute was on the 14th of January, 1994 at Fairs Entertainment Center. You want to know some of the people that was on it? Garnet Silk was on it. Tony Rebel was on it. Freddie McGregor was on it. Yeah? Uh, Malik Yuba was on it. Royal Girl. Diana King was on it. A whole lot of people. So, venue please. The venue was Fairs Entertainment Center. Then we move it from there and go to Brooks Park. So, during... 1994 December, my virgin Garnet Silk then. And then what happened now is that the one when we do 1995, me do a tribute to my virgin. Some fest did a tribute to my virgin too. So a whole lot of people kind of get it mixed up and figure say, oh, it's Garnet Silk birthday. It is not. See? So the rumors where people always are listening to, don't listen to that. You want to know when it's Garnet birthday? The 2nd of April. And if you go on YouTube, you'll see him used to keep his thing, um, Garnet Silk birthday bash. Everton Blender used to have Everton Blender birthday bash. Yes, Safari used to have one thing named Red Dot where he keeps. So all of we used to keep our thing, but oh, you know, fortunately or uh, unfortunately, his rebel salute stands still. You know what I mean? The whole of the man them had no virgin at that time. So I hope you get that clear. Zane? So Tony will make it clear that everybody that do them own event back then, including Yasso Safari, who have one event called Red Dot. But he must say, Unfortunately, his show was the show we stood the test of time. And based on this talk and war matchup, we can clearly see that these two Rastafaras are not seen eye to eye as before. Or can we safely say they are not as close as before? And it's probably because of who really owned the rights to this show called Rebel Salute. So Rebel Salute have gone on to be one of the most successive reggae show in Jamaica which attracts people from all over the island and all over the world. Before the birth of this show, it was always the three musketeers, Garnet Silk, Tony Rebel and Yasos Safari. Silk was lost in 1994, the same year of supposedly the first Rebel Salute in Fayers Entertainment Centre in Mandeville, where it was supposedly kept according to Tony Rebel. But there's many questions that probably needs to be answered and probably will never be answered. Because this is basically one person's story against another. But there are things that we would need to know like how were the profits shared at the first stage of the first Rebel Salute? Who arranged for the artists and everybody? What were the rules of Tony Rebel, more likely Garnet Silk and also Yasser Safari? Does the name Rebel Salute belong to Yasser Safari? And what conversation was spoken among the men? When this idea was first conceptualized, and what's you turn green take on this entire story? Viewers and subscribers, me know still wanna hear about this holy holy part time on the eight on the streets, all kind of thing. Enough people call Tony Rebel, Tony Devil, and enough people say Tony Rebel do not give back because this show wasn't originally his. Yes, so safari forward and him I tell us what him believe. I might tell us from theme perspective how we came about. The name belongs to him. And all that. But what do you all think? Let me know what you think. And let me know what you say about this in the comment section. Who believes that that's where you actually belong to Yasos? Or he was involved in the first two shows or whatever. Or do you believe that Tony Rebel took away the show from both Garnet Silk and Yasos Safari? Well, leave your thoughts. Leave your comment in the comment section so we can talk about it. We've come to end of another video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel those who haven't done so as yet. Also, please turn on your post notification bell so whenever I make a new upload, you can be the first to be notified. Peace out. Bless up. I'll definitely catch you in the next one.
Tell them I'm a natural vegetable with the bobo man a cook well. Run come look up in a me recipe book. Me natural vegetable with the bobo man a cook. Them bright out them high rise. When you want your friend them come look. Say come say God me pop in a me recipe book. Look in me recipe you with a God they cook. I want like you nice. I want like you. My love is a stepping up. Oh, my God. 